Hello fashion sewers. Today I'm going to be showing you the technique of thread tracing. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got a front section of a garment and this is the right side. Now there's hardly any markings on here apart from the chalk markings you can see here that indicates there's a feature that's going to be put in here which is a pocket. And what thread tracing is, it gives you a lot more defined information on the actual garment. So here I have the opposite to what I've just shown you and as you can see there is a, I suppose I would say a, a beautiful marking, a tracing as they refer to it as, as all the information is, is there. We've got the seam allowance, we've got the pocket as I've just shown you on the previous uh, garment section and all it does is tell you the information that is on a sewing pattern and it's on the right side. So you have a long stitch and a short stitch which is a temperate basting stitch. Now I'm going to show you how that is done um, using the cross rise grain because we've got the lengthwise grain, got the pockets and we've also got the indication of it showing the tracing for the seam allowances. I'm now going to do the thread tracing for the cross grain line and I'm going to first start off by doing a small back stitch and then I'm going to create two small stitches bring my needle up and then I'm going to do a large stitch so one small one, another small one up, ready for the large stitch. And that is roughly about 0.5 centimetres and the larger stitch is about an inch which is about 2.5 centimetres. And the reason why we're doing small stitches is so that you can identify it's a basting stitch because it's very similar to a basting stitch I should say and to identify it as a tracing stitch you can see that it's got large stitches as well as small stitches just keep going one more small stitch get my hand out of the way oh, and then I'm going to create a large stitch so a large stitch Take me right to the end and then I'm going to just give a small little back stitch there. Remember you don't knot it. So there we have your thread tracing for the cross rise grain. And there we have it, a thread tracing to the front part of the garments. So I've now traced the pocket position. And I've done it in red, I've done it in different colour, you don't have to, I'm just doing that just for this video tutorial. I'm now happy with the crosswise grain and the lengthwise grain. And I've also made sure that I've done the thread tracings for the side seams. And what it is, it's just a map so you can visually see um, where all the alignments to the grain lines are for, for instance and also for any particular features that you want to highlight. And then when you sew the garment together you can see the drape and the fall of the garment. Thread tracing is not used in all sewing projects but it's particularly important if you're doing twalls to do thread tracing because it really can identify whether your garment is falling on the grain line or whether or not you want to change the position of any particular feature that's on the garment so do bear that in mind. If you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.